and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Elementals. And uh, I put this together kind of based on the other two ele like Teamer Elemental type decks that we've played so far. We had the Neoform Elementals and the Elemental Aggro that we've played. Um, and I kind of went with those and had some cards I liked, cards I didn't like. And basically I wanted to go bigger with the Elemental deck. And none of those, neither of those elemental decks had four Risen Reef, four Chandra Acolyte of Flame. And I wanted to play four of both of those cards. Um, really like those cards together. Uh, you know, I think that's that's just an awesome combination. And if Risen Reef, if, if you get to pull that off, Risen Reef can get you a lot more land drops. And we can get to these other cards more often. We also got our eight mana creatures um, trying to ramp us into some of like these bigger things. A whole bunch of Chandra Awakened Infernos, uh, you know, like where all three of these abilities are pretty good. The only creature that the minus three kills is the Paradise Druid. I am going Paradise Druid here and not Land of War Elf because of, again, tri these triple cards with these Cavaliers, kind of like the last deck. And I am going to try out a Multani. You know, Multani is an elemental that maybe if we are ramping really hard with Risen Reef with like a whole bunch of lands with, with the Risen Reef Chandra interaction... Uh, maybe Multani can be super big. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what we have there. And yeah, I'm just going with the three Omnaths instead of four because it is legendary, but, um, it is a very good card. It's certainly possible that we should be playing four of them, but I'm just going with three to start with. I'm not sure about our sideboard. I got this Rivers Rebuke chilling over here for like the other green creature decks, to, you know, like, slow them down, like, bounce all their mana creatures and everything and make them, like, spend enough... And then, you know, like, get attack in for a bunch of damage and win a race. That's what I got that thing over there for. Um, you know, we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see how it goes. But let's get started. No, 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 no. I don't want to play with Sultai Cavaliers. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Does the cancel button work? Yay. It worked. Um, we, we have been playing, uh, like these other matches have been taking up for a while here. So the plan is to, to play five matches of every single deck. And I think that we'll be able to squeeze in five matches here with a team or elemental, but maybe not. We'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, how I'm, how I'm feeling. Uh, yeah. So we're playing over in ranked. I guess I didn't really talk about this at the beginning of the video if if you didn't see the other videos for today we're playing over in ranked today with some decks that i feel are quite strong and the goal with these decks is to go three and two that's our goal because that's you know winning three out of five is 60 percent so that's what we're trying to do and so far um we're basically doing that you know two two three but then a three two and a four one it's quite good. So hopefully we get a 3-2 here. That's that's what we're trying to do. All right, we need blue mana. So let's get the blue. See, there we go. We need the blue kitty for blue mana. It works all the time. Um... Oh, yeah, with the Reef, you can put the lands into your hand instead of into play. Ooh. I don't know if I'm supposed to lead with Chandra first and then Risen Reef Chandra, or if I lead, you know, I don't know which one to lead with, but wow, we are lucky. We got hey, this to work. Don't start any fires without me. Say hi to my fiery friends. So I have, I have four creatures now. So the Leafkin Druid does get to cast the Paradise Druid. 
it's it's possible I'm not supposed to be casting that there because it's maybe a, a wrath coming here, but that's okay. Hmm. Say hi to my fiery friends. Man, this is such a great combo. Okay. We still have five cards in hand. So it's it's like, oh man, you're playing into a wrath. Well, we we still have a whole lot of cards. <laughs> I wanted uh if, if the Cavalier of Gales dies, you know, you do shuffle it and then uh scry two just automatically, so Alright, what do we have here? So we have a connive. I mean we got just just click okay, it doesn't really matter. We'll see what we got here. All right, Clarion, Teferi, Bedevil, Thought Erasure. Cool. So I have two, four. I mean they're just they're just pretty dead. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're a oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. I'm just going upstairs. Dealing seven damage. So Risen Reef and Chandra Acolyte of Flame are completely busted together. Love it. Completely busted. Alright, so they're, you know, a Deafening Clarion deck. We've got to be worried about that. I, I should probably be playing all these negates, I guess. Probably don't really need Multani in this matchup. Like, Vivian Reed probably just replaces Multani. I guess Negate replaced Lava Coil. Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, they had five lands and went second, and I had millions of lands. Yeah, just why? Yeah, don't even need crisis. All right, I've had. Have a good night. Thanks again for that. Cheers. Um. Hmm. thing about keeping a bad hand is they don't have anything good to thought erasure away. So we're just going to be playing off the top. See? Perfect. The plan's coming together. Plan's coming together. 
We just got top tech all the time. Now we got top tech. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. No. Um. Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us. All right, plans not coming together anymore. Seraph of the Scales. What's that about? Like, why did I sideboard out my lava coils if they're just gonna have Seraph of the Scales? Ha ha ha. Nope. Yep, tagging with the O3, sending a message. The message being that hitting attack all is easier than just attacking with two. Now things are getting heated. Go get him, buddies. You want to block the O3? Okay. Get an extra point of damage. <laughs> Poor Chandra. May, I guess I guess I'm supposed to keep this in hand because if we draw Risen Reef, yeah, I should keep this in hand. Ugh, training is so hard. I have I have the Red Cavalier also. Okay, I. Yeah, I should. I need to be just be keeping cards in hand. You don't get Paradise Druid? Look look how difficult casting all these things are together. Paradise Druid helps out a lot with that. Maybe I don't need Leaf Kindred in this matchup game going longer and everything just have it the four just have the four mana creatures land world doesn't fix your mana it doesn't help you play triple blue triple red cards it only adds green the leafkin druid is in here because of <laughs> there's no lands anywhere i'm playing 26 lands in this deck i'm playing 26 lands
We just have three sevens of just no lands. Leaf cannon is because of Risen Reef. You want elementals. This card's really busted. We could still win this. Risen Reef could get us there if we draw some elemental stuff like that. Perfect. That was the exact car we needed. I'm a pretty great guy. Go get him, buddies. I wish you didn't have to click OK with all these. Mold of four. All good. Still got this. No. Oh, we don't have this anymore. We had it for a little bit. Not anymore. No, another Risen Reef. Sternbin! Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Ooh. Multani. 17th sub of the day. How does this feel like a coin flippy deck? Give me this Risen Reef back. Yeah, we've played a few, a couple different reanimator lists so far. Uh, out of the four decks that we're playing today, Shadow, the strongest one I think is is the Sultai Cavaliers. I really like that deck. Oh no, I've just I've just had some like really bad variants with like last game all lands, this game mold of four kind of thing. I would not say that um I wouldn't say that that this deck is normally like these couple of games here, consistency wise. We've just kinda had some ends of the spectrum. Him, and our our opponent's kinda playing this weirder, slower deck also. It's just been a different match. Alright, so Multani, we need to pay two and then return two lands we controlled back to our hand to put this back in our hand. Let's go ahead and just do that so I can actually just play a land drop also. Um, I'll just take Breeding Pool and a Forest. And then play the Breeding Pool for turn. It's $20 for donation decks, Dan. 
Um, you can uh, information about the donation decks in the info panel. If you if you're like watching on desktop, go down to the like just scroll down. Um, or if you're watching on a in an app on mobile, uh, you have to click on over to in the info. I don't have anything to re recast here, do I? Go get him, buddies. Well, Tani's pretty cool, though. 12 12. Pretty big. My opponent only has one card, now two cards left. Just one card left. The Mold of Four. Molta 4. We had a pretty perfect Molta 4, though, because we had Risen Reef and then Drew Chandra. And so it worked out perfectly. All right, 1 and 0. Oh. <laughs> Does the. Yeah, the interaction between Risen Reef and Chandra is okay. Um. It's pretty good. A scape shift deck? I yeah, I haven't played I haven't put together a scape shift deck yet, no. I haven't done that yet. Um I'm sure that's something that I'll do uh sometime with you know, maybe with the the new Swamp Matters creature. I guess this is also kind of a new newer YouTube video that I haven't talked about like with the other videos I don't think. So yeah, there is there's certainly something kind of going wrong with either arena, my internet, something it's very laggy and I I really do apologize for it. I'll be resetting my router and and trying to figure it out uh, before the stream tomorrow, uh you know, after the stream tonight. Hopefully it's not this bad again. But this is it was very bad today. And I apologize. Uh, what makes you stick to best of three? It's the kind of magic that I like. Uh, it's it's enjoyable to me. Where I don't I don't care for best of one as much. Best of one just promotes it. Just just that kind of format just promotes you to play a deck that doesn't really care about what the opponent's doing and that you're you need to play either the most uh aggressive deck you possibly can or the most combo-y combo deck you possibly can or the most control absolute controlling control deck and playing anything in like the middle of those three spectrums is is impossible to beat all the other spectrums and it's you know you don't have you know you don't have your sideboard in games two of three to to try to to try to tune your deck and everything and so best of one is not what I enjoy as much from a standard perspective. Go get him, buddies. And plus... I, I like kind of thinking that like these decks that I make can either be taken to like tournaments or taken to F and M, and people aren't really playing best of one at F and M. Your arena was laggy all day as well. Hmm. All right, perfect. We get to like this. Looks like this is Nexus that we're playing against. And we get to play Chandra Awakened Inferno here and uh, let them have this emblem. Cute. 
So I have eight mana. I cannot. I can't play Chandra plus anything else. This thing adds two. I'm one. I can't quite play Risen Reef and Chandra. I, I certainly want to get the Chandra emblem. Um, I know who I am. Going. And no one is telling me. Hope it's not too hot for you. Next turn we'll have Omnath deal damage upstairs also. You know, we can play like Risen Reef plus Omnath. Uh, also by making two tokens, deal six damage upstairs. Make Give him another emblem. I mean, if we get another turn, who knows if we get another turn or not. But if if we don't get another turn, hopefully... Oh, well, we're definitely getting another turn. Because, yeah, they don't have Reclamation. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just Cavalier kill them. I mean, you know, I was expecting, like, maybe a Fog effect or something. Like, the Omnath gets around a Fog. Yeah, Mono Red is still playable. Yeah. I have it's certainly heard that it's it it's not in a very here. good spot right now. Um... So it's, it's definitely, uh, not definitely, I've heard that it's weaker from people that play a lot of mono red. They're saying that it's weaker right now in this format um, because it, it didn't really gain very much from the last like two sets and the rest of the format did, gained a lot. And like the rest of the, the, the rest of the format is like the power level of the format has increased more uh, in conjunction to what mono red has increased. I want to try Prime. Wait, do you have? Wait, do you have Amazon Prime, Dad Confidant? Because if you if you do have Amazon Prime, linking it to Twitch to your Twitch account is very easy to be able to have Twitch Prime. Okay, Nexus. Let's get back in the game. That destroys enchantments. Um, Living Twister does just deal damage upstairs. Cavalier, Multani, pretty slow. Coil, not necessary. Cavalier, slow. River's Rebuke could reset him. Eh, not really that, that much, though. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I did. I think, yeah, I did play one Cavalier or Gale in the Ban Arcbow deck. Yeah. And for, yeah, for that kind of thing, like, you can put something back that you want to Arcbow into. Uh, and to try it out like that. What do you have to... I like the Rex Age. Yeah, Fry. If Fry actually killed Tamio, like you know, Tamio ticks up. If Fry would kill Tamio, I'd be more interested in playing Fry. But it doesn't actually uh, do that. Go through. All right, Dad Confidant. Go through Amazon. Go to go to go to Amazon.com. Yeah, if you already have Amazon Prime, go to Amazon and go to the Prime link. And then there's a link for Twitch Prime somewhere. Let me see if I can figure it out. That's how I linked mine. Oh, there you go, yeah. 
All right, yeah. You go on over to Amazon, just click Prime, and then go to the bottom, and then there's Twitch Prime there, and you click that, and you go from there. That's just scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Alright, we're gonna try resetting Arena after this game again. <laughs> Keep trying to, for my cards here, just. Uh... Drag my cards over here onto the battlefield. Two damage, one damage. Not enough damage. Biojankus is really rough for me here. Second Biogenic Ooze is basically game. Yeah, I mean, that's game. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. They, with their mulligan, I was feeling pretty good about it. And we blew up there as Kanta. Hey, Zeet. Cool, yeah, that, that Gruel deck we played last night was very good. Yeah, it was very good. Glad you enjoyed that. Yep, so I got two coils in for Ooze. This looks good. You know, we want to try to ramp into Chandra Awaken Inferno. And they're down to five cards. So, you know, we'll have, like, Leafkin Druid on two and then start negating stuff on three. I could have Negate on two because of Ascanta. Though, also, I could just... Just wait. Let's play the Leaf Kin Druid. That's that's like the one card that I I will regret not having to gate up is if they just play as Kanta here. Yay. All right. In case they have like a bounce, like 
So this is this is something here that if I if I just play if I do Stomping Ground, Sulphur Falls, play Paradise Druid, and then they just bounce my Leafkin Druid, then I wouldn't have had Negate up anymore. And Chandra can't be countered. I learned that like two days ago, like during the Mardu the Mardu time that we played that. Learn that one. Stands in my way is getting All right, emblems. Hot for you. Remember, like when I was playing that, I think I guess it was the Gruel deck, one of them. I was like, hmm, should I play around the counter spell, Chandra? It's like no, can't can't counter it. Don't have to worry about it. Let's get toasty. Oh, right, Paradise Druid is not no elemental. I was like, well, I was like, why can't I target Paradise Druid? Yep, all the deck lists are here. Streamdecker.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Or slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG, or um, easy thing to do is go to the YouTube channel as well, um, and uh, just kind of click on the video tab in the YouTube channel, and then you, I think it's it's easier to look at the decks on the YouTube channel and just kind of you can see all like the thumbnails and everything and pick out a deck and you can click on on that video and go to the link to the deck list there. So either either one. Uh, we'll, we'll get you the deck lists. Yep, looks like we got this. <laughs> All right, two and oh. Oh, do we we ranked up? We are now in diamond. All right, let's try resetting Arena again. See if it helps. It hasn't really been helping too much, but we'll say we'll see if it does. Yeah, I was gonna do the Cavalier Haste. Um, you know, we would have had to tap both of our mana creatures at that point. But if we would have, we would have discarded that card that we just drawn, and if we would have drawn a land, I guess it would have had to been a red source though. Could have tapped the O3. I guess I should have tapped the O3 just to cast the Cavalier. So the problem with Lotus Field is it is very slow because you have to already have two lands in play whenever you play Lotus Field as a tap land. So you have to have a tap land. In. It's a land that comes into play tapped turn three or later. And I'm just trying to avoid that with the help of the mana creatures and everything. Smug. Welcome to the channel, Smug. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in there. That's sub number 18 on the day. We only need two more subs to get to our next sub goal. 
Almost there. I'm gonna see if I can... I don't know, maybe I should just be coiling. I was say, I could play Omnath next turn to kill the Llanowar Elf. Then save coil. Ooh. Looks like maybe we're playing the Sultai Cavaliers deck. Sultai Cavaliers is cool. Uh, I guess they are playing Llanowar Elf though, and I, don't, I didn't have Llanowar Elf in my deck. So, maybe not. Combo time. So do I kill Risen Reef with the Omnath? Or do I play Chandra and start going crazy? I guess I should play Chandra and Paradise Druid. I guess I could just play Chandra and then minus two and coil the Risen Reef. Nah. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to say hi We're going to my fiery friends. So I could coil Jade Light. Nah. I mean, it's just draw two. Let's decline, put it into our hand, take action there. Hey, Twangalong. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. You rock. Card's cool. All right, we're going to be trying to kind of burn our opponent out here. All right, so let's start with Omnath. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, um... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I do want these these Omnath triggers with these lands and stuff, though. Oh my.
Hmm. Not sure which one I should be doing, to be honest. This will make attacking for me a lot easier. Have I played a land yet this turn? I don't think I have. Okay, well, Resident Reef is pretty busted. Yeah, I was gonna be attacking, of course, with with you know the creatures there, um, but they there wasn't like a wild growth walker in the graveyard. There wasn't like a a lot of like really good things to get back. Um, your rock, you know, having having the life link makes it like more annoying to attack in, uh, for sure. How they can just even just block with the your rock and gain life and stuff. All right, well, this is the kind of matchup where we got the rebuke in for. And I think I want negates to counter, like, dread hordes. I think I'm going to get rid of this Chandra, this Cavalier. Um, I don't know. I kind of want the rest of these cards. I guess one Leafkin Druid and a Cavalier of Gales or a Multani. I guess maybe a Thorns. No, I'll take out one of these Chandras. Look at this Thorns back in here. Yeah, I, I'm not sure we need the fries. The, well, Twister and Shocker against aggro. We haven't played against aggro. We've only played against two decks so far also. So saying that like we haven't been using some cards in the sideboard. They're for other matchups. But Fry is probably the card I like the least in the sideboard. I could definitely see just playing Silent Gravestones in the sideboard here. For Command the Dread Horde.
We could really use a Risen Reef, of course. Really use a Risen Reef. Lucky. Ah, they hit a land. I'm jealous. Ooh. Okay. I don't need to keep negate up though. I just have to. I, I can't really play the Cavalier of Thorns if I do. Oh, I could have with the, the Leafkin Druid. Oh no, I I totally messed this up. Yeah, so I could have I could have zeroed here. Leafkin add two. I forgot about the Leafkin adding two there. Stop. So as long as we have eight lands, then we start drawing cards with Omnath. And no, I I would not have countered their disdainful stroke because we have to counter Command the Dread Horde. You know we can't. I couldn't negate to try to keep my Cavalier of Thorns alive. We have to counter that thing because that thing just is millions of cards. Opponent smart. It's a good attack. They just get to put Command the Dread Horde back. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, can't really do anything about it. How big can Multani get? Multani's got Trample, of course. So maybe we can make this thing really big. If we draw Risen Reef, that's 
You know, we have a shot still. Uh, yeah, not me. I was I was calling Green Cavalier the best of, during the previews. I was calling it one of the very best cards in the set. Really liked it. That was always a card that I loved. Listen to my review. Yeah, that's what we're playing against. Basically, is Bulgari Reanimator. But the Green Cavalier just works perfectly with the things that the green green mid range decks are wanting to do. Like it just works perfectly with mass manipulation, command the dread horde. And it's just huge. And it's perfect with Risen Reef. So big. I like I like this a lot better whenever we have Risen Reef. Our opponents had Risen Reef this game. We didn't. We had seven cards this game. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The amount of cards our opponents had has been just incredible. <laughs> so Risen Reef does. We had seven. <laughs> Yep, game three. All right, let's see if we draw a Risen Reef this time. Could have Rivers Rebuked if we'd drawn that. If we drew Rivers Rebuke that last turn, that would have been nice. Could have tacked in for a whole lot. Well, we got the best card in our deck. lands. Dang. That was not good for us. Not good for us at all. I mean, I, I just needed that Paradise Druid so bad here. 
For those of y'all that are like, why are you playing Paradise Druid? Well, this is this is why. Need that Paradise Druid. Dang. Yeah, we got three for two with that Cryler Carnarium, but we got completely... It's it's weird when a three for two, like they spent three of their cards for two of my cards, completely blew us out. But it did. Because, yeah, I need... I mean, you know, getting rid of our, our Risen Reef so we couldn't just, like, play the Chandra and start drawing, you know, divinationing every turn. I mean, well, they just Aether Gust my Cavalier, and it's, it's game. All right, two and one. Hey, it's a good time to lose, though, right after we got, got to Diamond. That's true. Well, you do... I don't. Okay, so it says I don't know. Rebuke's good against Sultai Dreadhorde because it allows them to dump their explore package back in their graveyard. But then you do get to attack, because you know, like, presumably we're both like we're playing a lot of things. They're playing a lot of things. Uh, we rebuke and get to do a whole lot of damage to them with that with a big attack. Presumably. No. My poor Risen Reefs. Everybody's out to kill them. So I got rid of one big Chandra there. Boom. All right, go, Multani, go. 8-8? Eight, 8-8's eight. pretty big. Because, yeah, we have the two lands in the graveyard. that Chandra back on top. Yeah, Pump playing Grixis. I didn't play the... Okay, yeah, I didn't play the Shock the previous turn because my opponent didn't know about that Shock. So I, I just didn't play it and show that to them. Um... Okay, let's go with this. We'll keep two coils in, two fries, three negates. Yeah, this deck, yep. Yeah, I would say, yeah, this deck's fun and it is really solid. Yep, it is. Um, I was a high school teacher before I started... Um, I was a high school teacher and started traveling to magic tournaments and doing well and made a name for myself and then started making content full time after that and now uh, stop traveling tournaments and stream full time. Ooh. 
one more land for a risen reef. We got there, go risen reef. That worked out well. That worked out well. Oh, uh, I taught geometry. Okay, well, that did not work out well. <laughs> Went from working out well to not working out well. Guess we'd have to discard anyway. So we'll just kill the Kefnet now. I kind of wanted to hold up Negate to be able to protect protect the Reef here and maybe counter a... Huh. Doom Whisper. That card's great. What are all these Negates doing? Alright, do I want to go Thorns or... Thorns or Flame? Ugh. No land. Land would have been perfect here. Because, you know, like, if, if we revealed the land, I was going to put it in my hand so I could have played it and still had Negate up. Either discarding Negate or Omnath. Um... on that. Yep, we gotta set up Multani. Ooh, I was gonna say that... Wait, is that War Boss? That was War Boss. Kefnet with Doom Whisperer seems pretty sweet. Gotta say. Yeah, it could be... Cur I don't I don't really know with those two Cavalier Thorns and Risen Reef, like, which one you want to do for... Like, if it really matters which one you do first or second, honestly. I don't... Yeah, I don't really know... Really either way. Chandra, of course, we could have Chandra minus six Chandra and just kill the Doom Whisperer immediately. Could have done that.
So my goal here with starting with Cavalier of Flame is to be able to have Negate to protect Multani. But I guess I guess maybe I should just activate the Cavalier of Flame then. Well, Chandra's the safest thing. I guess we should Chandra. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. Oh, I should not click resolve all. Wait, I don't. I don't actually. I want to unclick resolve all. If they would cast a spell during this, okay. Good. Boom! Exploded. Oh my gosh, war boss? Why is this war boss always killing me? Well, I did that in the wrong order. I should have played Omnath first. And then play the land. Uh, not necessarily. It's possible that Living Twister doesn't need to be in the sideboard. Boom! Alright, we are three and one. One more match here with Teamer Elementals tonight. I think Night Pack, Night Pack Ambusher. Thoughts on that card? That card is really sweet. I'll, I'm glad that card exists. It's a fun card to play. Has good rate and everything too. Strong card. Um, yeah. Basically all of that. Uh, yeah, against Red Deck Win with this deck, I would be bringing in the Shocks and the Living Twisters. Um, probably cutting Big Chandra. Uh, bringing in Reclamation Sage also. I wouldn't mind having Negate. Um, what's the highest rank I ended at in Mythic? Like ended at, I think like maybe three hundred or so. The thing, the thing though, with with my stream, I don't actually play that much ranked. And yeah, I've been I've been mythic every single every single season. Like that's that's not hard. But I I do a lot of the traditional constructed queues here because we play 
I play tons of I, I play a very wide variety of decks all the time. I play four different decks every single day uh, on stream, and so because of that, uh, I do I do a lot of the traditional constructed queues. That's what we do with the like where the thousand gold entry. So we do with all the donation decks that we play and everything. So I don't actually do a whole lot of ranking. I uh, we played one one little bit of ranked last night and then today is like the first day that we really played ranked uh, since M20's come out for example alright so Boros Feather this is going to be tough for us with how little interaction that we're really playing over here I want this steam vents I think the highest rank that I got uh, was like number 19, I believe. Last season or the season before, something like that. Yeah, we'll see if our opponent has a way to, to pump. Okay, now they're just kind of going all out here. Yeah, so we'll just play Big Chandra minus three. They'll keep the Vanguard around, but that's not so bad. They're down, you know, two cards in a Vanguard. Come on. Man, it's been so laggy today. All right, let me play the Chandra. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? I guess the Risen Reef wasn't actually dying to this. Maybe I didn't need to block. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. I guess I didn't need to block with the Risen Reef last turn. I could have blocked this turn to protect Chandra. I forgot I wasn't dying. All right, Enfi. Have a good night. Know what's next for me. I haven't yet, Blood Wolf, no. I'm planning on taking a look at that for tomorrow. I don't really want to shock play Chandra, so I'm just going to play the Cavalier of Gales. Huh, that works. All right, uh, feather stuff. Probably want these shocks, fries. I don't know, rebuke. This is a this is not a match I'm very confident in. It looked like our opponent's hand was really bad. That game. I am not confident in our in our chances here. Yeah, maybe Big Vivian could maybe play that minus to try to kill Feather. Yeah, Twister is very good against Adanto Vanguard. Yeah, I decided to throw the Twister in here, because especially if we're getting extra lands with the Risen Reef, Twister can do some stuff for us. Hey, welcome to the channel, Landry. Thank you so much for the sub. That gets some hype votes in the chat. I appreciate that. And that is sub number 19 on the day. So we're just looking for one more subscriber before the end of this match. Get us to our next sub goal. 
we will crack a pack and uh, that'll be another sub goal towards a 12 hour stream. Whenever we hit 20 total sub goals, I do a 12 hour stream. We've hit uh, eight before today. So the first one today was our ninth. And one more subscriber and we'll have 10. And C. Wookies is getting the gifted sub from Sonic Bob. Thank you so much, Sonic Bob, for that gift sub. And then Chalisar, Papa Louis, Papa Louis, y'all are awesome. Everybody, get some hype in the channel. Twenty subscribers today—that is awesome. Everybody, get your hype boats out there. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, let's go double. Double Trouble Paradise Druid. Unlikely we get to another sub goal tonight, but we'll put it up there. Yeah, it's like Arena keeps resetting. So it just. It went to 1440 with me with the graphics right here. I can tell that. Go back to 1080. 1440, it has problems with, you know, streaming and everything else. I noticed it, it just changed itself, like, right then. I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything to have it change, but it just changed. Love it. All those hype boats. Oh, my gosh. So many people love it so much. Thanks, y'all. Hey, Night Owl. Enough. Welcome as well, Night Owl. Alright, well that will do it. Looks like we're going to game three. I mean, so, it doesn't... You know, you may you may be thinking, well, you could just block with Cavalier of Thorns, but they can just God's willing to get through Cavalier of Thorns, which I guess they have to do that. But yeah, this one's over. Drawing three cards a turn. We ain't beating that. Yeah, M twenty. Yeah, sorry, League of Wombat. Saw yours earlier. Uh, M twenty. I don't think really changed. Nexus of Fate too much. Some people are trying Donna Dreams in the deck. Um, but that That's the one thing off the top of my mind. Sideboard wise, it gaining... Okay, yeah, just attacking me. Sideboard wise, it did gain uh, maybe Autumn Veil. Vale or Veil vale of Autumn. Veil vale of Summer. Who you knows, whatever. I guess it's summer, because there's Night of Autumn. And then, yeah, Autumn Veil vale was a different card. Get that mixed up. This one's Veil vale of Summer. But yeah, with constant gods willing, we, we cannot win this anymore. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Yeah, I have not been enjoying playing against this Feather deck so much whenever we're getting paired against it the last few days. This has not been too enjoyable of a deck to play against. I don't, you know, I don't know what the ranking hierarchy of enjoyable to not enjoyable to play against, but this would be towards the not enjoyable side.
Hey, Landry. Yeah, everything's going good today. Um, I guess besides the the connection problems and the kind of laggy stream, besides that, everything else going good. Do you think Jeskai Control has gotten any better with M20? Probably not. I don't really know what it gained. Kaikar is not a control card. I don't know, Rivers Rebuke, would that slow him down? Uh, probably not. Uh, yeah, we lost to... Something. I think we lost to Sultai, right? Yeah, I think we lost, we lost to, like, Sultai, you know, Command the Dread Horde... Same kind of deck that we had, have like Risen Reef, Cavaliers, Yurok, that kind of stuff. Go to discard. It's a bold strategy. Huh. All right. Well, four one for teamer elementals. I don't know if our opponent got the notice that there's the London Mulligan ruled now, so mulliganing is not very bad and you should mulligan more maybe not london mulligan really should not be keeping one landers just just don't <laughs> all right but a pretty sweet deck here uh as we saw with with uh when we we're playing these games risen reef plus chandra acolyte of flame is nutty these two cards put together is pretty insane uh we mulligan to four uh, one game, and we had turn three Reef, turn five or turn four. I don't know if we curved exactly Reef into Chandra. I think we had to wait a turn. But we went Reef into Chandra and just outgrinded our opponent after mulling into four with just those two cards and just lands because I kept three lands Risen Reef on our four-card hand. Um, and, yeah, just just outgrind him because it's just, you know, it's just like divination every turn, uh, basically. It's pretty nutty. Multani was actually pretty sweet. Uh, Multani was really big. Uh, you know, did some good stuff for us. Really liked it. Um, you know, ramping into Chandra Awakened Inferno was, of course, incredible. This card was awesome. Cavalier Flame didn't do really very much with it. Wasn't that impressive. Thorns was awesome. Um, Leafkin Druid was... So so there was there was definitely times that the tap add to mana really helped, but is this better than just playing Land War Elf? Maybe not. Maybe just playing Land War Elf would be better uh, overall in the deck. My sideboard is is kind of meh. Living Twister, Fry. Those are pretty meh cards. Rivers Rebukes pretty meh. Sideboard could probably use an upgrade to be honest. Uh, I made this deck pretty quickly this afternoon. Um, yeah, I'd say side, sideboard could could use some more tender love and care. But I, I really like Risen Reef, Chandra, Acolyte of Flame, ramping up into Chandra, Awakened Inferno with Cavalier Thorns. Omnath is good. Like this, this is definitely a good core of the deck. The Paradise Druids were awesome, helping us cast our different cards and everything. 
it was it was definitely better than Leaf Kindred. Um, would I consider getting rid of Flame for a second Multani? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see playing another Multani instead of a Flame. Yeah, I could see that. Um, it's kind of there's more ways to. I wonder if there's more ways to like consistently have Risen Reef or find more Risen Reefs and um, get Risen Reefs back. Basically, when you have Risen Reef in play, your deck is just incredible, basically. So there we go. That is Teamer Elementals. Definitely the best Elemental deck that we've played so far today. Or not today, sorry, since M20's come out. Um, you know, we've played some other teamer colored risen reef or just elemental strategies this is definitely was the most uh powerful one i like soul tie cavaliers more than this deck as far as um what de what deck i think is like the most competitive i think soul tie cavaliers is a better deck but with that being said this this deck needs more help in the sideboard the t the the soul tie cavaliers is is more flushed out more tuned um, but this deck has a good potential. Uh, I like this deck more against combo decks, you know, like Nexus. You know, we, we beat Nexus with this deck. We lost to Nexus with Sultai. I think Sultai is going to really struggle with Nexus, where this one has a lot better chance with having, like, the Acolyte of Flame for, like, a little bit faster clock, but then also having, like, these Awakened Infernos. Like, ramping into this card against Nexus was just awesome. So, like, if you're playing against a lot of, like, combo, like Nexus... Basically, this is going to be better there. Um, but yeah, good good chance that this should be Llanowar Elf. And good chance... And honestly, that it probably just should just be Llanowar Elf. Uh, having potential for turn 2 Risen Reef and going crazy. I think it should be. Um, even with just 10 untapped green sources turn 1 with the 8 shocks... And two forests. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Cyborg. Cyborg needs some work. I don't know exactly what to do with it right now. It would you know, take a little time, but Cyborg needs some work. All right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the ranked day today with us playing uh, all these decks in ranked and, uh, you know, leveling up. When we're up to Diamond now. We'll get to Mythic next time. But thank you so much for watching Teamer Elementals. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. That's it here for the video. I will 